Hey YouTube, it's Haig here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play Battle Stations Midway after 2014. So anyone that's downloaded Battle Stations Midway, whether it be off Steam or by the CD copy that you can get out of the local shop, you're going to not be able to play online because what's happened here is GameSpy has shut the servers down. So, we are in 2016, and I figured out a way to actually still play Battle Stations Midway, despite that the servers have been shut down by GameSpy because we're going to use a special software called Game Ranger, which we'll talk about later on. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you what happens for everybody when you're playing Battle Stations Midway as you'll encounter. So I just let this game load up and I'm going to attempt to host the server and you'll see here that it will say that there's a problem with the network. So I'm going in and trying to even log on to the game spy servers. It's going to say there's an error occurred while reading and writing across the network. It doesn't matter what network you have, what computer you have, this is going to be the same error for everyone because what's happened here is game spy shut the servers down. So there's no possible way to actually run a battle stations midway server using just the game itself. You actually need to download some more software here that will actually allow us to still host a server despite that GameSpy shut down the server. Okay, so this will work for uh, for any copy of Windows, so don't worry. And it's very easy to do. Alright, so what you want to do is once you back up to your desktop is you want to download a software by opening up your browser called Game Ranger. So uh, we're just going to do a Google search for Game Ranger. It's real simple to do. Um, right, so it's Game Ranger allows you to play uh, different types of games online, especially games that have shut the servers down. So this is a software that allows you to host servers to a whole bunch of different games that have the same problem where the servers have been shut down. So uh, download Game Ranger and install it to the computer. Okay, so when Game Ranger is installed, the software looks like this. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to configure the Game Ranger software to play with Battle Stations Midway. Alright? Other users that are going to join your server also must have the Game Ranger software installed. Alright? Not only that, before we do anything, we also have to download the Midway patch, 1.1.1 update patch. Because if you don't have this patch, you can't play online. And you also want to download these two map packs so that are right here. I'm going to have the link in the description box. It's all easy to do. Alright, so when you install Game Ranger and you got the software, the very first thing you want to do is you want to click Edit, click Options, and then under the list of games you want to select that the Battle Stations Midway, and look there here where it says Location. It's very important that it's C Program Files Battle Stations Midway .exe. You have to have this location. If you've downloaded your copy of Midway off Steam, you want to go ahead and co make a copy of your game installation and put it into the program files folder. So uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure the directory is exactly like this. So browse to uh, see program files and click Battlestations Midway.exe. But if you're using, if you downloaded it off Steam, you're going to have to change all that. So if you download it off Steam, this is it's very very fast to fix. All you have to do is click on. Uh, File Explorer on your Start menu, click your C drive. Then in here, you're going to look for the users, I mean the uh, program files. Look for your Steam folder. And in here, you're going to look for the uh, Steam apps. And in here, you look for Common. And in here, you'll find your Battle Stations Midway folder. You want to right click that folder and copy that. When you copy that, you want to click this PC again, C. And you want to click Program Files, and you want to right click and paste. So you want to copy, make yourself a copy of the Battle Stations Midway folder and see Program Files, okay? And when you have that, you'll have all the files, okay? Copy it down to see Program Files. So that's if you have Steam, you just want to make yourself a copy of the game installation, alright? And then you'll see Midway.exe is there. So cl close out of that, make sure you click Browse, make sure it's see Program Files. So make sure it's see. Program Files, Battle Stations, Midway, then select Battle Stations, Midway.exe. When it's all selected, you can close out of that and everything's alright. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is you want to minimize this uh, Game Ranger first, and you want to actually download the Midway patch here, and you go see here that it's got Midway.exe, Option.exe, and this folder called MPAC, okay? So, 
what you do is you want to copy these files extract them copy the files you want to click your start menu you want to click file explorer you want to go back to C to C drive you want to go back to program files and you want to go down to midway and you want to paste these files in here and overwrite them so replace the files in these destinations and click OK once you replace these files you've successfully patched battle stations midway so it will work with game ranger the next thing you want to do is you want to download the map packs so we'll have the map packs as well in the information box of the video so we'll install map pack 1 by clicking on the setup file and then click next next and agree the end user agreement click next now it's real important here if you have downloaded your copy of midway off steam is to change the directory to C program files so by doing that you can see here that it's now it's pointed to steam directory so you don't want that you want to go to C the C drive you want to go to program files and look for battle stations midway click OK so you want to make sure it's C program files battle stations midway and click next that will go ahead and uh, install map pack one it's the exact same concept to install map pack two i'm not going to even bother showing you the same thing as you just run the software make sure it's pointing to c program files battle stations midway and then install it and then you're good to go all right so yeah i'm not going to install both the map packs but you must make because i've already gotten both on here but you must install map pack two as well okay if you don't have the map packs it's not going to let you play on fine all right so now that you've done that, you're ready to open up Game Ranger. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we click a uh, new group. We'll make sure we select Battle Stations Midway from the list of games here. Now you can see it's, it this supports all kinds of games. All right, I just got games that are in, that I have already on my computer in here. But uh, what we're going to do is look for Battle Stations Midway. There it is. We're going to tick box that. You're going to call the group Midway. Midway servers or whatever you want the group to be called. And what that's going to do is it's going to sort out all the rooms that are hosting the session of Battle Stations Midway on Game Ranger. So no one is currently hosting Midway right now. So what you have to do is now that you've configured Game Ranger correctly is you click host. And what this will do is it will allow you to select as much players you want to join your session your server. So we make sure we are under game, we're selecting Battle Stations Midway, eight players, click OK. This will go ahead with an advertisement. You'll see your username here. By the way, you can always change your username by clicking user profile and changing your name here. It doesn't really matter. I just put that in. And what will happen is when somebody else now is actually searching for battle stations midway, they're going to see your server here, right? In the game uh, ranger, as you see. One person out of eight, which is myself in here. And the ping is good. And when somebody else searches for the Battle Stations Midway server on Game Ranger, they can double click that and then it will add them to the list of players in your server and you'll see their username appearing in this box here. And when you get another player, you want to click start. I can't do it because there's not enough players in here. And when you click start, that will automatically start Battle Stations Midway up, automatically bypass the Game Spy server check, and automatically get you into a lobby where you can choose the map and stuff that you want to play on and anybody else that's on the server here from uh, the game ranger anybody else that's joined your server will be also redirected to be to your server automatically so it will automatically start up the uh, battle stations midway for all the clients on here it will also automatically start it up for yourself and it will do everything for you you just need to wait for another player to join and click start from there it's pretty simple just select your map in Battle Stations Midway and start playing. So I hope this brings back a lot of people to play Battle Stations Midway because a lot of people uh, have abandoned this game since the Game Spy servers have been shut down. And I hope this brings people back. All right. So this is in 2016, as you see, uh, Wednesday, August 2016. So the servers are completely shut down on Game Spy yet using Game Ranger. You can easily host a server now. And anybody that has Game Ranger as well. And has your computer configured with all the updates can now play battle stations midway all right so if you enjoy my videos remember to comment write and subscribe and thanks for watching